Well, hello there. My name is Jeremiah Nickel, AKA JT Nickel on Reddit, at ProDJKC on Twitter. I'm on break here, I'm doing a little side job. I just popped a hole in the wall back there and I gotta finish trimming it out and all that good stuff. I'm like their Kool-Aid man. Uh, <laughs> uh, so I've got a question for you guys. I need help from your, from your comments. The moderator team, in fact, we're, we're trying to come up with a solution for a recent thing that we're, we're noticing and we wanna get ahead of. So with the uptick in the protocol development and, and the, the return of the bulls, so to speak, ETH Finance is starting to see a lot more um, bloggers and YouTubers coming in, dropping their information, and then, and then never really sticking around to comment or anything like that. So we call that drive-by blog spam, right? And particularly with the YouTubers, I'm picking on you for a second. It's like you go to six different subreddits, you drop your link in there. A lot of you guys don't even uh, respond to comments and most of your entire profile history is of you spamming your YouTube links. Now, I'm not gonna disparage YouTubers. I'm a YouTuber. I don't monetize anything. I don't even ask for donations or anything. I just wanna get information out there. I just, that's just me. But some of you guys are relying on it for some sort of income. What we wanna ask you to do, and we wanna see if the community agrees with this, would be that if you're gonna drop your YouTube link in there, we would like for you to accompany it with at least a comment, and then if you get some comments, come back and respond to it. it just kinda of lets us know that you're actually there in the ETH Finance community, okay? We are not just a dumping ground to uh, promote your YouTube channel or your blog or whatever. It's good if you go ahead and, and come into the daily and say hello, okay? Build some rapport with the community. We are a pretty small sub and we like to have, curate good quality information. Second thing is we're noticing with some of these YouTubers is that just a referral link after referral link after referral link in the, con on, in the uh, comment section, even the comment section sometimes are filled with more shills and then we also see like some of those uh youtube videos are getting to the front page in like with 40 upvotes and zero engagement and as far as comments that's a and if you're advertising that you have a discord or a telegram group you're you're telling us that you have a user base that is coming in and upvoting stuff to the front page of eth finance that's going to earn you a ban that's called vote manipulation so Let's do this. Instead of moderators censoring and picking and choosing winners, it would just be a lot nicer if you could join the community, become a person or a guest in our community and take part. Okay, the drive-by blog spam has got to go. Uh, some of the YouTube videos I'm seeing personally, I feel like they're, they're kind of freebooting other people's news uh, articles, okay? They're reporting on things that are reported on by other people. It's not really innovative, in my view. And if you're gonna do that, give credit in your videos. Freebooting is a big deal and it sucks, okay? I'm just being honest, all right? Cite your sources and give credit where credit is due. I'll give you a great example, Chico Crypto. He cites sources like a madman. The dude, and the, and the other thing is Chico Crypto never, he never puts his own YouTube video on our subreddit, other people do. That's another good way to get a uh, thumbs up from moderators. You got other people helping you, uh, or not helping you, he's not being helped, he's just organically popular. But if you're using a sock puppet to put your stuff out there, we're gonna catch on to that type of nonsense as well. So be careful with that. Try to be organic, produce good content, and build a communication back on Reddit instead of taking it out um, or dragging, you know, would be people along for your ride on your YouTube channel in the comment section or the referral links, okay? That's fine. I like to see all these other communities. I, I'm not even a, a hater when it comes to people having their own discords and telegrams. Just make sure you're not vote manipulating your stuff up and make sure that you're at least commenting. These are just ideas. Would you rather we just let it be and then we get our front page flooded with the crypto YouTuber, you know, blogger of the month? Or would you rather that we kind of come up with an idea that gets them engaging our community so we really know that they're in ETH Finance trying to help pitch in uh, with good information. I'm also gonna give a shout out to Omar Bam. Omar has been in, uh, on YouTube for a very long time. You can agree or disagree on like 
some of the stuff that he's talked about in the past, some people think it's kind of clickbaity or whatever. But one thing he never does is he, he, he'd never just drive by, uh, drops a link in, and then never contributes. He, he's been on Reddit for a long time with us, and he cites his sources. And I really, I, I think that he does a good job of only putting the videos in that seem relevant to ETH Finance. Whereas some of these other guys are putting in every video that they put in, you know, they do one little mention about Ethereum and then all of a sudden it's in, in our subreddit. No, don't do that, okay? If you're really focused on Ethereum ERC20, even if you're like a, a TA guy or whatever, I think it's prudent to join the conversation. Personally, I don't wanna pick winners and losers, okay? I just don't wanna do that. And our moderation team, we need your help. We're trying to figure out what you want and uh, we've been in discussions round and round about this issue for a long time. And I, and I think one solution is to ask you to please join the community, not just dump your junk mail on us, all right? That's all I got. Put your uh, ideas in the comments below. We'll probably sticky this for a couple days. Sorry, I usually got a three-piece suit on and a bow tie, but I got work to do. All right, cheers and big hugs from Kansas City.